up? Welcome back to Who's Next. So the theme for this week is animals. And I have two dogs and I could have done a furry friend tag with them because I've never introduced them to the internet. But I have a much cooler pet that some of you guys may know and it's this little girl right here. I don't know why she's looking at me right now. I just woke her up like five minutes ago so she's a little calm still. She's normally a lot more crazy than this. I decided this animal is way cooler than talking about a dog. Like I love my dogs to death but no one else on the collab channel has a ferret so I figured I would do a pros and cons to owning a ferret. I have a few up if you're curious to the actual like, information about ferrets. I just uploaded one on Sunday actually, not on purpose. I just had that video filmed and then we decided animals was our theme this week. So I figured why not do another ferret video. So this is Daisy, she's four years old. All the information like I said about her will be in the description bar, like my other videos and stuff like that. So we're just gonna get into the video. We're gonna start out with the pros. Obviously these aren't all the pros. I forget about some and I think ferrets are a great pet. So, but before we begin, I don't want any hate if I say anything about like how I take care of her or anything like that. Please do not comment below telling me I'm doing it wrong. I've had her for four years and I had a ferret before this. So I think at this point, I know how to take care of a ferret. She's lived for four years. She's very happy. She's very active. She's fantastic. So please withhold all the annoying negative comments because I get so many of those on my other videos. This is Daisy, the pros of having Daisy. First of all, ferrets are so cute. That should be a number one pro. I think she's so cute and so tiny. I know that she's kind of small for a full grown ferret. She can fit in both of my hands still. So that's the first pro. It's always nice to have a cute animal. And I got her. I picked her out because she's a lot lighter than typical ferrets. Like, and she has brown eyes, which I don't like the ferrets with red eyes. They creep me out. So the fact that she was a light furred ferret with brown eyes was the reason that I chose her because most of them are just darker, which they're still really cute, but I just thought her coloring was more unique. So that's number one. Number two, they are super playful. If you're looking for a pet that's more cuddly, it's not gonna happen. This is about the extent of her cuddling and it's literally because I'm holding her like back and forth. I can't let her run right now. If I put her on the ground, she would not come near me unless it was like play. She would just go do her own thing. Okay, that sounded wrong. She loves to play with you, but like she's not gonna come to you and cuddle with you or let you hold her unless you're forcing her to be held. They're really playful, not cuddly, but like if I were to put her on the ground right now, she would play with me. So they're really, like I said, for the fourth time, super playful, which is really good, I think, for kids and for kids and for adults. But like, you know, if you're a kid looking or you're an adult looking to get your family like an animal, they are really playful. Another pro, I feel like they're pretty easy to maintain. Maybe that's just because I've been doing it so long. They have a cage, obviously, so you have to feed them and clean their cage and bathe them not often, but like at least once a month if you bathe them too much, their skin gets dry. That was one of the comments I got a lot on my videos. You bathe her too much. I looked it up and I was bathing her too much, so some comments are good. Like a bath once, no more, I think. I think it's like no more than twice a month, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. I usually give her a bath like once a month just when she needs it because they can be a little smelly, which would be a con I'll get into. Besides that, they just need to play, but because they're so little, they don't need to play like a dog would. Like, they do need attention and to play, but obviously her compared to a dog is just, it's just not logical for them to need that much exercise and ener like attention, not energy. Like some mornings, if I don't have time to let her out, I'll put her in my bathroom for 45 minutes while I get ready and just open the cabinets and she'll get into like the bathtub, the trash can and the cabinets and run around the bathroom. And that's honestly enough for her, like she'll fall asleep. They are in that sense, you do have to give them attention, but I feel like it's a lot, you don't have to like take, you. I mean you can, they have leashes and stuff for that. You don't have to take them on walks or like play fetch with them out in the backyard and stuff like that. Like they're just cool running around. At least she is. That's obviously all fair, it's gonna be different. But for her, she's cool with just running in a bathroom for 40, 45 minutes if that has to happen. So they have a cage that they play in when they're not playing outside. And I just, so I feel like they're pretty easy to maintain. They are pretty affordable, I feel like. I mean, she was like $120 or something. And I don't remember how much her cage was. I think like two or 300, which is kind of expensive, but it's where they live their whole life. If you get them like a dog kennel or something, I feel like they're gonna be the same price. So. It's just an investment, it's where they live, and then you just have to pay for their food and litter, and obviously toys and stuff like that, but any animal you get when you first buy them, you have to get them toys and a bathe and stuff like that. She's good for like apartments and things like that, because like I said, you don't need a backyard for a ferret. You just have a cage anywhere in your house, and then you just let them run. I'm trying to think of other pros, I feel like overall there's really, really good pets. 
I have some cons I'm gonna say, but they're like little things like she smells or something like that. So we'll just, we'll get into the cons now. Number one con, they do smell. I have like, I don't know what it's called. I call it Fair Febreze that we spray on her every day. We clean our cage every day. And like I said, bless you. We give them, we give them, we give her a bath. Like I said, at least once a month, no more than like two or three times though, but like once a month. You have to clean their ears. I don't know how to do that. My mom does it, so I don't know if it's hard or not. But you don't have to do that often as well. But you just, they get smelly. If you take care of it though, it won't smell. Yeah, like I don't think she smells like anything but her ferret Febreze. I feel like that's one of the main cons of a ferret is their smell. Another con of a ferret, they're a little sneaky. They like to steal your stuff and hide it. Literally, I'll have bracelets on the floor. I'll have socks. She literally once took my shoe. She took my shoe and hid it under a trash can. How does something this big take a boot and drag it under a trash can? I don't know, but they do it. One time I was opening Christmas presents and he was out running and he took my brat toys and dragged them under the dishwasher. That's another con again. It's not anything that like would make me never want to have a ferret is they are a little mischievous and they like to take things and they like to hide and fall asleep in random places and then it takes you 30 minutes to find them and then you're late to work because that's never happened to me. What are other bad things about you, woman? Sometimes I feel like it's hard if you have other pets. My old ferret, when I had him, I had a dog, but it was like a Shih Tzu, and then I had a cat, and they would run around together and have so much fun, and it was so cute. But now I have a pit bull and a lab, and so she can't run around with them. We don't wanna even risk it. So I feel like that's a con, it's sometimes hard. For example, we put the dogs outside when we let her run, and sometimes it's hard with weathers because they do need attention daily to let, like you put your dogs outside in the rain. Cause one time, we locked my dogs in my parents' bedroom. She tore up the carpet and went in there and the dog started barking at her and luckily my dad was in there. Yeah, so that is a con. I'm trying to think, there's nothing like too terribly bad. I feel like the benefits, I'm not even saying like, I'm gonna edit this and be like, oh my gosh, but you forgot this. I feel like the cons are just little things, like she smells or she's mischievous, like there's nothing. They're loud in their cages and if you keep them in your room, they like to play at night and keep you up, so don't put it in your room. Trust me, I learned from experience. But yeah, overall I feel like ferrets are really awesome pets. And like I said for the third time, I think now I will have all my videos about ferrets linked down below. So if you are interested in getting one or just want to see more of her, you can go check those out. So I hope this video was entertaining. You guys got to see her. Pretty much she just going from hand to hand and licking me because she's weird and likes to lick people. Thanks so much for watching. My channel will be down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and come back tomorrow to see who's next. <gasps> Say bye.